Today at the clinic we've had Clover rushed in uh, as an emergency appointment. Um, for the last 24 hours she's been uh, off colour, she's not really wanted to eat anything uh, and she started being sick quite a lot uh, and also some diarrhoea and she's really just flat and, and depressed and you can see she looks really miserable. Um, and on examination when I feel in her tummy I can feel something stuck there and, and we think that she's probably eaten something that's moved through the stomach into the intestine uh, and it's got stuck in the intestine and is causing an obstruction. So what we've done is she's, she's just on a drip and she's had some, some antibiotics into her vein uh, and we've taken an x-ray and you can see on this x-ray that there is indeed something stuck in the intestine and, and um, we know that it's causing obstruction because you can also see some, some gas around that, that white foreign body there and um, the gas is the, the black area on the x-ray so, so we know it's causing obstruction and what we need to do is, is go in and remove it. So as soon as the antibiotics have kicked in um, we're going to go ahead and do surgery to see what we can find. Clover's all asleep now, uh, she's finished all her antibiotics so we're okay to go ahead and start the surgery so I've induced her, we've put a tube in there to help her breathe uh, and the nurses are just clipping her up and preparing her site surgically now so all that remains is for me to prepare myself uh, and we can start the operation. So this is what we could see on the x-ray. We can see the, the foreign body stuck within the intestines here. Um, feels like it might be stone maybe, difficult to say until we, we get inside. Worrying development though, I don't know if you can see, but usual gut should be a nice pink colour just like this. As you can see it's gone nasty and black over, over the area that the stone has travelled. Um, same back here etc. And I, I worry that this gut might not be viable, might not survive after we take the stone out. So we'll, we'll take it out and have a little look and see whether the colour changes, but it might be that we have to take a portion of the gut out, which considerably increases the chance of a complication. So we're going to crack on with the surgery now. Okay, so Clover's all out of the operation now and she's just starting to recover, so I'm leaving with the nurses to monitor her uh, and hopefully she'll come around absolutely fine. The surgery went okay, it's always a bit uh, of a worry when you have to take intestines out, but they were just too black and uh, they weren't contracting anymore, so um, I didn't think they were going to survive after the surgery, so we had to take those out, but that means that we've got a much greater chance of, of breakdown uh, after the operation, so it's going to be a real close eye on her for the next uh, two to three days and hopefully she'll make a full recovery, but this is the culprit right here, uh, it's been cleaned, um, it's a stone that she's eaten and um, we'll see whether she eats another one at some point in their life but um, she'll have to get through the current surgery now so I'll pop back to keep a close eye on her.